now we see the what are the different kind of production strategies in production planning there are two kind of production strategies works in the production planning module the first one is we call it make to order scenario second we call it make to stock scenario i'll give example of a industry a company will start producing only after getting a sales order from the customer is considered as a make to order company because they will start production after getting confirmed sales order from the market they they won't produce anything without sales order so this is a make to order scenario second company is a company which will keep producing and after production completion they'll search the potential buyer potential buyer for them in the market so this is a basic difference between these two company here for a make to stock scenario i give you example of a company suppose our laptop uh, so uh, laptop companies are the all the electronic goods companies are working on the make to stock scenario they first produce they just assume that okay i can i'll be able to sell this number of laptop in the market on basis of that they create one tentative plan and they start producing and after production they dispatch the material the second scenario the make to stock scenario where suppose you want you want some customized uh, jaguar or some uh, mercedes so kind of car so in that case the company will start producing the customized car after your sales order many companies are working on both the scenario and many are working on make to stock scenario this is one flow of make to order scenario in this process you create a sales order in sd so here the sales and distribution module is linked with my production planning module and after that the requirement of my finished product will be transferred to my production department that is my pp module on basis of a final product requirement production people will check their stock and order their raw material and they'll procure raw material from the market so it means here the mm module link up and after the production the costing will take plus uh, take place so the costing will be captured under the controlling module the co module is linked here and after that the, it will be dispatched see here in sd part the left side window order received after receiving the order mrp the material requirement planning will be done what quantity and one what date i want the material after production will start and goods ship will be taken at your storage location after I mean, this is this will be a sales order stock because this order is this material is specifically produced for x x or y customers so it will be my sales order stock and after on sales receiving the sales order stock material will be delivered material will be delivered here my inventory will be increased my production inventory the finished product inventory will be increased and it will be delivered to my customer and i need to issue the material from my sap so it will it will reduce my inventory here see this redu reduces its sales order stock and after the billing my invoicing and all that so this is one scenario for make to order now we'll see the how the make to stock works here the first step is create planned independent requirement the meaning of planned independent requirement is that we have fixed some we have fixed some target based on our market survey that okay we will be able to sell this this much quantity in the coming months so the tentative figure is we call the plant independent requirement on basis of plant independent requirement the material requirement planning will be done if we have enough component in our stock then we'll start producing if we don't have 
if you don't have then we'll go and procure the component from market and after the finished product is produced and the last step the first the fifth one the customer will place the, an order so this is a basic difference between the make to order and make to stock scenario that in make to order scenario process will start from sales order your customer order while in make to stock scenario your process will end on customer order so in make the uh, in first one make to order the first step will be my sales order and in make to stock the my last step will be receiving the sales order and dispatch the quantity to the customer here we have seen that in a previous slide that one term as a mrp mrp material requirement planning so how the mrp works the main task of the mrp is to determine that what quantity of the material is required for production and what time on what date it is required it may be whether in, it can be in-house produced or it may be external procurement if it is in-house produced it means that you are producing some semi-finished product for your finished product so it is considered a semi-finished production if it is external procurement so it will have a link with the your material management module so see here the demand management again the demand demand from the market based on your cell survey the quantity then master production scheduling master production scheduling in that in this case we'll come to know in what quantity and what date we want the material the scheduling of your procurement then material requirement planning what quantity you want and finally the process order the production process so we'll see that how the mrp calculate the requirement so suppose you received a one sales order of thousand number of laptop so when we run the mrp first of all system go and check the current position of your raw material here in case of a raw, uh, laptop your raw material may be your keyboard your hard disk your ram your motherboard your display these all are a product which is required to produce a laptop so all these uh, components will be listed as a your bomb component it will call your bomb component so first of all system will go and explore your bomb and will find out that what item you require after that it will go and check that whether this item are in the stock or not if it is not in the stock then system will automatically create a purchase requisition based of a required quantity here one interesting thing is that suppose uh, after running the mrp you come to know that you require one only one ram but in market ram is not available in one quantity you have to buy in a p bunch uh, in lot of 100 number so you cannot buy one because one first thing is it is not available in the market and second if somehow it is available then it will be very costly so these kind of things are controlled through the lot sizing the, this one you fix that your lot size will be half hundred number so whether your requirement is of one number or it will be 99 number system will create an order for 100 number because you have defined that your economic order quantity is 100 number so this is this is called the lot sizing and order scheduling on basis of on basis of your work center capacity order will be scheduled and the delivery date of your component will be determined automatically here the bill of metal expo explosion which i already told you then internal production or external purchase this is defined in already in the material master you if you are able to produce some material in-house so system will give you the planned order and if you are not able to produce that system will give you the purchase requisitions
so this is a screen of uh, how the mrp are listed so this is a mrp controller here mrp controller is definitely is going to my definitely is going to my one person then group of material for which controller is responsible then controller mrp list mrp list is a proposal of a mrp planning run the outcome of a mrp planning run and the planner can see and the monitor the different material movement activity by this list whether it is goods issue or whether it is goods issue or goods receipt